Hello everybody, Cedric and CJ here, CRS in the commentary, and we'll be answering viewers and uh getting this this match started. This the second one we're doing here is the one I want to do first, but I've misplaced it. YouTube Google has thrown things about. I'm like, I don't know where too much is because it's not in my uh replies you haven't responded to. It went from there and then trying to find it on the videos, I didn't go far enough back. So uh but we get into it though. This one was also 12 days ago. Um, this is on SmackDown ish, um, June 14th. And let's see, it's going to be hard to do this like this. Uh, so, Zemo, he says, Do it yourselves mean hardworking guys. At least that is my interpretation. Perhaps they work better as heels. Ugh. I would have to watch them. I, uh, I would have to give it an honest look. I just, the name threw me off. It didn't feel right. Um, let's see. He says, WWE only booked tag teams to find that one singles guy who they can mold into their next big star. And as soon as they find that one star, they break up the tag teams. And yep. That's, that's their mold. They don't go for having great tag teams. They just go for that. <sighs> it's such a waste. He says, now I can't see Paul without being reminded of Alfred Hitchcock. Every time I see him, I will say to myself, good evening. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have said this before, and I will say it again. WWE is not a proper wrestling company. They do not want wrestlers. They want superstars. They want sports entertainment. And guys like Gorillas of Destiny do not fit that WWE mold. WWE will never, no, will either break down to fit their mold, uh, yeah, will break down to fit their mold or just remove them, yeah. Now, they won't remove Tamba and Loa, but they will try to mold them into superstars, <laughs> rolling his eyes. And yeah, Tama and Tonga, they are not superstars no they're not but they are legends ahead of their time mm -hmm. you know and yeah that that's one of the fears like y'all just gonna mess up gorillas of destiny they ain't even give them their names nope they ain't got a tag name that what is it the infamous right hand <laughs> yeah they're the infamous right hand oh crap i done messed up hold up hold up i done shrank everything this is a terrible situation. Okay. Uh oh, can't have that. Yeah, I was. It was. It was terrible. Okay. Nyla Rose is everything. Nia Jax is not. Uh -huh. True, especially winning. Nyla Rose don't <laughs> win. Not really. Mm -hmm. She. She's. She was winning. We were watching her in Ring of Honor. Going against Scrubs, then she go against a contender. She loses. Yeah. Thoughts on SmackDown? Lacking in creativity is something WWE and the fans have in common. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. That's just brutal. Brutal truth. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, oh, man. Somebody pulled the club out of his skull. <laughs> he, 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 Zemo just bashed that dude. He just Negan the shit out oh, of him. Oh, no. Not Negan. <laughs> They're all looking like Glenn now. Oh, so and and the one they uh, that you, you, you do called Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. I can't remember what his name is, man. He went out hardcore, I, but I like. Him. I'd rather him live. I'd rather him live as a whip than go out hardcore. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, he had some weird name. It wasn't Cleveland, but it was something like that. He, he ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up. It's not, I'm not gonna See, be able to rest. It's, 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 gonna, it's gonna be in your crawl. I'm not gonna be able to it's, rest. It's gonna be in your crawl. So you finna look it up, ain't you? Yep. You looking it up right now? Yeah. <laughs> See? Who'd you, who'd you look up? Duke Nukem? No, I, I and you did? No, I didn't. I didn't. You looked up Duke Nukem? I did not. You like Duke Nukem? <laughs> Abraham. That was his name, Abraham. It's not an Ford. odd name. It was. It, how many Abrahams are walking around? Oh no! See, there you go. 
I what? Did not, I did not look. The only up. Abraham I ever heard of, he didn't last long as president. That's. <laughs> no, we didn't. But yeah, I did not look up Duke Nukem. I looked up the redhead dude from Walking Dead. Um, wait, that's what you put in there? Yes. And that crap worked? Yeah, I put in redhead dude from and gave me some selections and The Walking Dead was one of them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so this, this this is what we doing, right? Okay. So <laughs> he says <laughs> way off topic. Still Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. I, he says, I do not think AJ get enough credit for his mic work. No, he don't. Nah. He has gotten better with his promos, and I just do not understand why fans say he is rubbish. Um, mm, I'm not even going to pretend that I am of the people like that, but. They they remember AJ Styles when he was younger and he was in the air way more than he was on the ground. Mm -hmm. Everything was a drop kick, a swan dive, an arm drag, um, a jumping knee, uh, a Frankenstein, a Huda Conrana, something. Head scissors takedown. AJ don't do that. AJ got more of a wrestling game, a pro wrestling heel game. Because he realized, you know what? I can't do that forever. I can't do that forever. I may not look it, but I'm old. Yep. <laughs> I'm wrestling old. AJ is probably like, I feel the mat now. <laughs> and it stings. And it stings. And imagine him trying to do Ultimate X now. He'd be like, you must be crazy. <laughs> also, Zimo. And anyone else who's listening, the fan might say that AJ is not as good or he's just rubbish or garbage or trash or whatever because they people got a nasty habit of comparing one to something that's not like that at all and try to mix them. Example, Joker, Nicholson, you know, his, his Joker and Heath, the different different jokers different jokers but one thing that can be said <laughs> is that Nicholson's set the stage for Heath to even be yes the <clears throat> the best joker in the history of jokers is the first because they built off that and kept going that's why the first is will always be the best because without the first, you have nothing to go with. But they want to compare AJ to The Rock, to no. Flair. They want to compare it to Orton, to no. Triple H, no to comparison. Shawn Michaels. There's no comparison. You What's don't whatever? compare. You compare simply this. Am I entertained? Do I like this? Do I believe this? But they don't do that. Like they compare Godzilla Minus One to, you know, the New Kingdom. And it's like... It's not the same. The two different markets of Godzilla. It's two different genres of movie almost. Yes. And watch Godzilla minus one though. Whoever's been watching it was yeah. it's incredible. It's on Netflix. You know, you watch Godzilla, you know, the New Kingdom. You don't compare that. It's two it's two one it's not just separate it's two separate situations. Two separate time periods. Godzilla minus minus one is an origin story. Yep. Being retold for the third or fourth time. Actually, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He showed up. Oh, we get to see him as a teenager. And then we get to see him when he's like, Bruh, I got things to do. Mm -hmm. And besides, no one even knows the true story about that anyway. Godzilla Minus One. The true story that took place. But, you know, yeah. And it won't the people. Um, So then he says... uh. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, did I go to? Yeah. Okay. Dustin is seriously, Rose. Dustin Rose is seriously underappreciated as himself and as Gold does. Who the hell? You know, the man can have a good match with anyone and everyone. His team with Cody was fun and helped elevate the tag team division. Okay. First of all, let's let's jump into some things. I'm gonna dissect this one. All right. Dustin is seriously underappreciated as himself and as Gold does. Who in the hell is not loving Goldust? I don't know. Now, Goldust 
outside of WWE with no one to work with, no storylines to go with or whatnot. All you got is remembrance of a character and then seeing his entrance in the ring. Yeah, nobody's going to care about that. Nobody's going to care about that because it was nothing to build on. But Goldust, when he had something to work with, someone to work with, a place to work in, mm -hmm. that was memorable. Yeah. That was. was outright. You, That was undeniable. I was a Goldust fan. And, and I'm not saying just because I was a fan, others need to be. But if you don't like Goldust, a genuine, unique character, someone that this dude did not want to be, but made it his own, come on. And I was mad when they stopped it. I was mad when they stopped it. I'm like, those movie references and talking about it and all. Oh. Yeah, when they, when they dumbed him down to just being basically enhancement, it was sad. It hurt. It was like, why, why, why is he doing this? And we, just, we got mad. You can tell that there wasn't he wasn't being invested in his his gear didn't look the same his uh -huh. wigs were all shabby then he stopped wearing the wigs he just come to the ring like i'm doing the job mm -hmm. no robes no nothing and justin is a ring general when he gets in there the the, the they fight different you know those flippy flops ain't so flippy flops. He tries to wrestle with him. He tries to go and let him do what they got to do because you got to let him. Sometimes you just got to let an, an idiot be an idiot until they get that out of him. Like, is it out your system yet? No. Can we get to some wrestling? I wish he'd stop blading himself. They all blade themselves. They've only ever. It's hard. To, it's not easy to hard way someone. Why does anybody have to bleed? That's that's the the proper question. Nobody has to bleed. You can have a fantastic match and nobody shed a drop. Now, his team with Cody in WWE, I, I, I just saw that as them squashing tag team champions and I moved on. I didn't want to see no more of that. And it sounded like it was a rare thing. In AEW, they were teaming up sporadically and it didn't elevate anything. And I'm going to tell you why. Because once you get a team over and they look good, you need to keep that momentum going. And Tony Khan is like, no, you know, they won. They look good. Let's get somebody else up there. So that team, y'all can take a two or three week vacation and we'll get this team up there because we want to get them elevated. Two or three weeks. And then that team gets a push for about two to three weeks. Six or and eight then weeks. they might do business with the team that was gone. But you're wondering why y'all got heat mm -hmm. and it's bad booking. And then those two teams will eventually go away for another team to come up because he's got a rotation. And that's why teams can't get over in AEW except for the Young Bucks that you see all the time that no one likes. <sighs> that make your head now. That just... It sucks. And then something else that was happening is Dustin. And yeah, no, Dustin, and I got to say, yeah, he is seriously underappreciated. Yeah, he yeah. is. But Dustin, Dustin, Dustin's been hurt several times mm -hmm. since he's been at AEW. Not anywhere else. And then Cody kept leaving to do other stuff. That's yep. what hurt Cody. Because yep. he was also trying to be a movie star or a TV star, and he would get something going, get folks behind him, then he'd be gone. Yep. And then, then this isn't Dustin's fault, but he gets something going a little bit, and then he get hurt. Or back in the rotation. Yeah. I ain't even. I, um. He says, "I remember Cody in Ring of Honor. I remember him being underwhelming in the ring and screwing up the prestige of the Ring of Honor belt." Yeah. He was one of them, them talking, them sniveling, talking heels. He wasted a whole bunch of time. He was doing his WWE promos and he's trying to advertise for himself. He was, by and large, doing the right thing. By and large, doing the right thing. <sighs> it is what it is, right? Yeah. I'll get the next match going after we get it. Um, Let's see, what did he say? Uh, the dude Mark beat up was John Cena. Who was Mark? 
Uh, who oh, in the Mark Henry in the suit. That what you're talking about? The yeah. whole retirement angle? Okay. I think so. Yeah, I remember that. It was a great segment, but WWE botched the aftermath by booking Super Cena to go over Mark. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Mark Henry, he busted up Cena. He got over. It was, a, it was great. And they gave Mark Henry a push. And Mark Henry came out and did a promo. And he said what he shouldn't have said. I'm going to be the first black WWF champion. Oh, like, oh, no, we can't let that happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah. You, you as a black man ain't going to beat the great white hope. That, that ain't happening. You're not going over. And plus, if a heel wins the belt, oftentimes that heel needs to keep that belt until you can find a super baby face to take it. And John Cena at the time was still the super baby face going against not a super heel, but a threatening heel. And to do the promo saying you're going to be the first black anything, you, they not going to let that happen. When he said it, I was like, that ain't happening. There, there was a shot, and then he said it, and I was like, nope, you can't be the first. And I, and I told you then, I said, they will take away the prestige of that belt before they let a black person ever get it. You know, people can have the rose-tinted glasses on all the time, and that's going to screw up their arguments if they try to talk to someone like me or someone that understands. They, ne they're never going to have a good argument. No, he didn't win because no, no, no. Because he was black. That's really it. You know, that ain't why people probably ribbed him or anything. No, that's, that's different stuff. This is Vince McMahon. This is ownership. This is you representing the company. And then you could throw out Kofi Kingston. Was that a WWE belt he won? Or just one title from Raw while the other title was on SmackDown? So who was the first black champion? Was it Booker? Most likely. Yeah. King Booker. He would, he would have been the first. He would have been the first. I can't remember if he... I think he did win it, didn't he? I see. But if he did, you know, yeah, he would have been the first. Ron Simmons was WCW's. Yeah. I, I don't know what Ron Simmons was. I don't know if it was NWA or WCW. I really can't tell. Man, come on, Mouse Wheel. Don't be sliding like that. Let's see. Go with Mark. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Dang, I forgot about him. Okay, The Rock. I'm reading this. The Rock, whose real name is Dwayne Johnson, became yeah. the first black WWE champion in 98. Okay, first of all, I don't know about that. However, Ron Simmons is recognized by WWE as the first black world champion in professional wrestling history because he was the first African-American to win the WCW World Heavyweight Champion. He is not an interracial child like The Rock. And I know people are going to hate this. And I just wish you could open your mind to understand where I'm coming from. But there is an acceptance level of skin complexion to these things. Ron Simmons is unmistakably black. Yeah. The Rock could easily say, what, I was born in Hawaii. You know, he could just say that. He can. He could just throw that out there. I was born in Hawaii. But his makeup cannot be denied. No, it cannot. So, uh, right? Yeah. Think, think about Barack Obama. You look at him, he is clearly black. Mm -hmm. But he's like, and he said it, I'm not black, I'm biracial. <laughs> if this man's biracial, The Rock is epically biracial. <laughs> and you know what? In an ideal, utopic <laughs> wonderland, that would be correct. But we are not in an ideal, utopic Wonderland. Yeah, we are not. And so, as much as it pains people, the one drop rule is still in effect. 
And the one drop rule is beyond epic. Y'all can go look that up. Yeah, you can look it up. Yeah, but y'all, can, y'all can look that up. Dwayne Johnson walks that line where you can forget uh-huh. where he came from. Whereas Ron Simmons, <laughs> no, nah, you, you know what he is. All he's missing is the afro and the pick. That's all he was missing. And he had the afro. I was going to say, back in the day, he had the afro. He had the afro. He ain't had the pick, though. And he had the voice. He still got the voice. His voice was coated in melanin. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just keep that stuff in mind, y'all, okay? You know, we just just keep that in mind. This is not a utopic, idyllic world. <laughs> and so let's see. Solo finally wins a singles match. Why the F did WWE wait so long for Solo to win another match? <laughs> Solo defeated Cena, one of their biggest superstars, and what did they do afterwards? They booked him to lose every single match and interfere in Roman matches. Yeah. When he I was not watching at that point. But if you but going on who Cena is, and what Cena's an awesome person. Um at least for what he shows the public anyway. Um You beat Cena, you don't you pretty much like Okay, we're taking you serious. You're not over. But it's like, now we have to take you serious. And then he starts losing matches. That's, that's almost the office saying, yeah, we wanted Cena to lose to give some kind of threat and fear and introduce this guy maybe. But uh, other than that, we can't have you look too good. They can't have him look too good. Even if he had won all his matches, he still wouldn't look good. He is missing something. Maybe he's meant to be a face. Because this isn't it, man. Solo Sokoa might be a really damn good baby face. He might be meant to be a face because this ain't working. There's nothing, nothing about it. He got the blonde hair. He need to be out there cheering and smiling. Yeah. This is not working. It's, he's he got is, happy hair. He's not scary. He, I don't care how many suits he put on it. I don't care how many pair of black leather driving gloves he buy. It's not working. Maybe it can't he, be taken seriously. Like, like Cody listening to Mark Calloway talk. Because I said it to you. I, I said, I said, Cody needs to be a heel. Because as a baby face, I said, I, I just I just couldn't buy it as a baby face. I'm like, see, he's missing something. With Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Yeah, he is. It's, I, I, I think he's missing something as a... It's like, okay, maybe this is my aversion to really tiny men. I don't know. But to me, Cody's tiny. He is. He's small. But he's a good size for a wrestler. He looks like a grown-ass man. He does, yeah. He's small, be like a grown-ass man. I I think that, yeah, he, he... then maybe that's it. He needs to be a heel. Maybe that's it. Uh, let me tell you one thing Cody needs to do. Stop wearing skinny slacks. It's bad enough you wear your wrestling tights. That's a supposed to thing. I I don't I don't need to see your Frank and Beans, bruh. They ain't got to be 1990s baggy, but there's a lot of range in between that. <laughs> that's a lot. Bring them in a little bit. Yes. Yes. You, no, no, you, excuse me. Take, let him out a little bit. <laughs> don't tr- don't trade in the Lincoln Town car for a Fiat, please. He gonna get in the ring real fast. Be in a then, car that fit. He gonna get in the ring one day and things rip. You were surprised that he didn't bust me too. Cause that yeah I. You know that this is pre this, but I'm still reading it. When Jacob Fatu shows up, he is just going to make Solo bad. He will show everyone. That WWE are pushing the wrong Samoan wrestler. Fatu is everything Solo is not. I like Solo, but he is not ready for this push. Jacob is ready, and he has not even made an appearance. Now, here's the thing. Jacob Fatu, and I'm going to speak in the terms, in the area of MLW before MLW before he left WWE as he got there and WWE as he will never be. Jacob Fatu is a hell of a promo. Mm -hmm. Jacob Fatu looks like he out of his goddamn mind. All right. 
Jacob Fatu cannot be in Solo's spot. Solo, he's not a pretty boy, but he's a very handsome guy. Clean shaven, large eyes, very light, even toned skin. He's got blonde in his hair. And he has, he looked like someone that should be able to manage and talk. The way they have done Tonga and Loa, they look like they can barely hold a sentence together. One's going to have to start, the other's going to have to finish, and it's got to be four words at the most. That's how they are using them. Okay? Mm-hmm. Jacob comes in. Jacob shouldn't even know English or any other language. Jacob should have sticks that he beat on the railings so that the others can understand what he's trying to get across. <laughs> Jacob look like he don't know anything. He see a B and will just look at it for a while. But he, he put a flame in his face and he is hypnotized. But that's how Jacob is coming across and that's how he's going to stay. Because if you let Jacob be Jacob... I'm going to tell you straight up, the Tongans will follow him. Yeah. Okay. Solo is dead. And see, this is, this is, this is the problem. This is what I see. You'll beat so, on Solo just so, because Solo showed up to work. Sokoa is trying to be the head of the table. All right. Give him Paul Heyman hell. All right. Okay. So if you're going to be the man, you need to surround yourself with a, a nice crew, right? But he is surrounding himself in with people who are better than him. Do you see that? From a fan's point of view, yes. A fan's? A Sokoa fa- hadn't shown me shit to tell you, me that he can see your, anybody's words. Your words, boots. your words, you said he is surrounding himself. He, he is, is hot. Suppo- he is not That's the fan's point of view. But he is, not, we know what WWE, WWE is setting this up, but here's the thing. They give you, here's what you're going to do. You can do two, one or two things. You can fail at it or you can run with it. He's trying his best. But this isn't his thing. No, it's not. This is not his wheelhouse. This is not his wheelhouse. So it looks like he is surrounding himself with people who are better than him. And I don't know how they're going to maintain this. I don't know how they're going to maintain it. Jacob Fatu, I can see him cutting the promo. Basically saying, you sit at the head of the table, but that's not where the leader is. I can, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can see that happening. It's like, okay, you sitting there, but that's all you can do at the head of the table is sit. You don't run jack. And then what we've been seeing most of all is, okay, Sokoa's got two dudes with him. He sure trying to do some damage. One extra dude show up. It's two of them. Oh, we got to back off. All right, There's well, two dudes in the ring, man. Yeah. So what you going to do? You got four dudes in the ring. You, you still going to back off? That's the problem that they have. You, you don't... WWE got to have it of our heels are weak. Yes. You need to own we the ring. We outnumber you. We control you. But we're going to run when one person show up. Jacob came in and the I like the baby face. The baby faces shined because they didn't give up. They kept trying to fight. Mm-hmm. And Jacob ate lunch. Yep. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to speak because I've watched Jacob in Major League Wrestling. We watched awesome. him. And it was beautiful. Awesome. And he's got to be 30 pounds lighter now. Yes more than that so he's got to be 50 pounds lighter that dude was how can I say a feather on his feet when he was huge when he was huge so yeah and when he was running around he was um he was faster Mm -hmm. he was faster so this I'm I'm gonna see he looks taller too yeah he looks so much taller watching SmackDown. We'll watch SmackDown probably tonight because I'll, I'll be up. But when you see someone come in looking like that, 
and being as feverish as he was, and then when they show him again and he's not, that's where they mess up. You have to maintain some form of that. Like that would be him at his wildest. That's him at his strongest. Calm him down. He's under control. In control. And he will fight and is vicious. Yes. But once it's time, that, Jacob, you initially saw, is what show up. The problem is that, Jacob, it ain't going to take long before they say, why ain't he champion? He mm-hmm. can't be beat. Jacob fought too. He's a that everybody is a game changer. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. He says the less I see of Dwayne, the better. After that BS he pulled with Cody, I lost respect for him. Um, what BS? It maybe he's talking about. You know, he said this is what happens when you fuck with the final boss, or uh, talking to him in the ring saying, "Don't you break my heart again." Um, I think that's what he said. He, they no. could just be that could be all kayfabe. I don't know. Um, or come in and oh, mm, he came in. It was supposed to be Cody and Roman, and then it was like, no, we're just gonna change. It's gonna be you know Rock and Roman. Cody, you're out. And people was like, have you lost your mind? <laughs> And it was like, no, no, we're not doing WrestleMania. We ain't, mm-mm, nope, we're not watching, nope, screw that, and, and to hell with you, Rock, and we're done with WWE. People were done. And then they do their segments, and then they do the thing, and they get it back to Cody and Roman, and people are like, all right, you're going to do right, because we, we just told you we want Cody to go to WrestleMania and win and beat Roman. And 100% of the people were behind it, except for the extreme Roman fans. And as soon as Cody won, a month later, they're all like, we got to get the belt off Cody because, you know, he's been champion long enough. And to everyone that was like that, y'all can go screw yourself. Because that's just dumb. That's dumb. You don't sit there and beg for someone to lose the belt to the person you want them to lose it to and then get bored of them being champion in a month or two. See, it if, kills the belt's prestige when you just say, I'm going to pass it around like a blunt. If that's what Zimmo's talking about, about them trying to, you know, Cody's out, Rock is in against Roman, that isn't Cody's fault and it isn't Rock's fault. You know Rock was in charge of the situation. Let, let me finish. Do you know whose fault it is? Who? Vince. Vince was on the outs. He was on the outs, but... All that stuff coming out about him, it made the company look really bad. And people would, would make you make the whole company guilty by association. Man, he he doing this and doing that. I ain't going to watch this. Oh, let's bring somebody back that everybody loves and stick them in WrestleMania. They were desperate. They were scrambling. They were. I'll give it that. Like, which would be a better draw? Which would be a better buy? Exactly. Yeah. But the fans was like, no, you've been building Cody for a, a year. And, so, and luckily, they listened to the fans. Y'all had him get up there after AEW. Cody's there. Cody goes to WrestleMania or whatnot and then lose. And that was heartbreaking. And then they built it back up. It's a five-star storyline. They built it back up. Then they tried to snuff it out. Cody won Royal Rumble again. They tried to snuff it out. And then the fans was like, you know what? Nah, bruh. And they was like, okay, we'll return it back where it's supposed to be. And they're like, good job. Yeah, they just, they made a bad call. Yep. They made a bad call. And they were desperate to make some sort of call. And they made a bad one. But they, I, was I, po- I, they were supposed to do Rock and Roman before that anyway. And they're determined to get that. So I, that's why I'm like, this WrestleMania... Roman and Rock opposing factions, they'll be headlining, but they will also be the verge of the main event for the, the evening, whether it's night one or two. That's that's what I think is they're gonna get that. Mm. And that WrestleMania will be um the new storyline for Roman or whomever to get the belt back from Cody or something. And then that's gonna be a, a big storyline. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. Oh, dang. Okay. 
I don't know if he's got it now, but Reigns was diagnosed with leukemia in 2007. Yeah. And it returned in 2018. And then it ret- and then, okay, then he returned 2019. I hope that's not why he's gone now. That would suck. It would. I mean, yeah, when they talked about that on uh, Six Feet Under Undertaker show, I was like, okay, because I'm like, leukemia is not a term I'm too familiar with. You know? Yeah. And so you had to explain it to me what it was and what it meant and whatnot. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, feeling a bit, you know, feeling a little bit bad, you know? As of April 2024, he's still taking medication for for the cancer. This Maybe is, he's resting. I hope, yeah, I hope he can beat this. Cause this this sucks. Yeah. This this sucks. Um. Okay, can I move on? So he's got to remain on oral chemotherapy his entire life. Yeah, bone cancer don't. It's hard to get. It's like someone, and I don't know how true this is. I, I'm not. Of, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but um, the idea is that it's in the bones and it don't necessarily spread throughout the entire, like the whole shaft of the bone, but it keeps trying to get out. I and think, if it get out, it's, it's more than dangerous. So they sort of just do the chemo constantly so that it, it keeps killing it. Or something, but I don't know what's true, what's not true. I just I heard that and went with it because I don't know anything else, and I don't believe it. It's just what I trust until I can hear better. Okay, it's not bone cancer. Leukemia, specifically, is cancer of blood forming tissues, so it's a cancer of the bone marrow. Okay, the stuff that creates your blood cells. I thought the blood, the bone marrow was inside the bone. It is, but it's not cancer of the bone. It's, it's cancer of the the blood cell production. Yeah, the bone marrow. Because the bone marrow is a, a different... Yeah, because your red blood cells, they, they are born and they run a life and they die. Mm-hmm. And they got to get replaced. And your T cells help create uh, white blood cells and other stuff like that to help fight off certain diseases I don't know okay bone cancer is something different I'm trying to find bone cancer is different yeah I'm okay. trying to find a give me a second just to keep going but I'm trying to find it he says before I go I have learned that WWE started a partnership with TNA and pro wrestling Noah the TNA partnership just started with current whatever KO champion uh Jordan Grace, okay, knockout champion. I was saying knockout, but okay, knockout champion Jordan Grace. And yeah, we saw some matches. We saw I mean, yeah, that we saw going up against against all odds, and yeah. wasn't happy with that. Uh, challenging current NXT Women's Champion uh, Rock C, uh, Roxanne Perez. To a, okay, so that's where Rock C went. Uh, Roxanne Perez to a match at Battleground, which was last weekend. It looks like this partnership is going to be TNA crossing over with NXT, the WWE development branch. Whether TNA wrestlers will appear on main roster shows is everyone's guess. What do you guys think? No. 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 Um, no. What's going to happen is that's the. Just hear this out. TNA is supposedly a major company, major as in it's. Uh, sovereignness in the wrestling industry. Yeah. Okay. It's been hanging on for a long time. Yeah. It's supposed to be one of the, uh, not an ECW term, but impact players. NXT. Just think about this. NXT is development. Yeah. They are not even at the point of being considered enhancement wrestlers. Even those with titles aren't even good enough to be jobbers slash enhancement talent. 
these people they go up to the main roster where they might get a slight push just to test the waters but they are just just lag a little bit and you are an enhancement friendship field forever <laughs> yeah tna is an ongoing working ship a workshop and noah is with their underclass the freshmen no matter how long and how great your talent is in tna and pro wrestling freaking noah which got some high level hard hitting people yes they are not it enhancement or introductory developmental <laughs> you're good enough to be with our freshmen but you won't be main roster you just you can you can work without how can i say you can work with the people that help keep the jobbers in shape yeah and it's a it'd be an insult to me i'd be pissed off at it uh, they would have to prove us wrong because I, I agree i think that's exactly how it's gonna be Yep, prove prove us wrong on that. That's how I see. Yep, prove it, prove us wrong. Mm -hmm. It will remain to be seen. So, bone cancer is osteosarcoma. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, man. Okay, Muto Turk and Kaijin won quick. Okay, <laughs> against Washington Harrison and Barnaby Steelbender. Um, to be a Galka. <laughs> so that's that's going that's going to do it for us. Um, we hope you enjoyed this. We're going to do. Uh, I think there's one more, but we'll do that one tomorrow. You you need to get some sleep. Yep, I do. You're only going to get five hours and twenty five minutes or so of sleep. So really, it is one o three a.m. Two, three, four, five, six. You got to be up by six fifty. Yep. So, that's going to do it for us. This has been Cedric and Cedric for CRS and Commentary, answering the viewers. And we hope you enjoyed this. So, we want you all to be chill, be safe, and be good. So, we can do what? See you next time. Take it easy. <laughs>